Christian is my friend. But Sarah is Christian's girlfriend. But Sarah doesn't have the money to bail him out, okay? All of her money's in a trust. So why do you gotta do it? Maybe, why do you care? Because I thought you were my wife. Okay. The Vega family is still really important to me. And after I broke up with Antonio, I lost them all. I don't see Carlotta. Jamie was like a daughter to me, and I don't see her either. And after working on the designs with Christian while you were in Napa, I just, I don't know, it just felt nice to be his friend again, you know? That's just why I feel I have to help him now, okay? Hmm. How come you didn't tell me about Christian getting arrested last night? Well, when I came home, you were asleep. That conference call with Sarah must have really knocked you out. What is that supposed to mean? Another thing. Mm-hmm. I gotta go down to the police station. Well, I'll come with you. You want John to press charges now? What happened to big defense of Christian last night? That was when I thought he was acting in the heat of the moment situation. But from what I heard, he's been going on and on about how he'd do it again. Chris needs to know he can't just do whatever he wants and get out of jail free because his brother's a cop. Oh, of course. You know, you live in your own little world. Where? One where you respect the law? One where all you care about is yourself. And nobody else. Why didn't you say 19 stars, 18 cool? Yeah, sure. I'll just go whip up those IDs right now. Didn't you know your old guy? None of my friends make fake IDs. Come on, just think about it for a second. No, I'm sorry. Okay, what am I supposed to do? So I don't see how getting fake IDs is going to help you deal with Star's gas. It's all about keeping Star safe. All right, this has to work. Dude, those Mondo parties that the football team used to throw after their games, they had kegs everywhere. And none of those guys were 21, right? So how are they getting the booze? Somebody's got to have a fake ID. Or an older brother. It's worth looking into. All right, can you check that out for me? Yeah, I'll see what I can find out. Hey, but whoever does this is going to want cash. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll figure something out, okay? The main thing is the IDs have to look real. Got it. Marco, nobody, man, nobody can find out about this. All right? It can ruin everything for me and Star. What was so hellish about last night? Things just aren't the way I thought they'd be. I know you miss Cole, but Star, come on. You can't expect the whole situation to change overnight. How about in this lifetime? Your dad told me that he went to the diner to hang out with you. I know he really wanted to do that, and he doesn't want to be your enemy, so I think that's kind of a step in the right direction, don't you think? Oh, yeah, sure. Barging into the woman's restroom, it's a great step. Your dad did that? Yep. He rushed in to the woman's bathroom in the diner to make sure that I wasn't making a prison break. Star, look around you. This is so not a prison. Well, you could have fooled me with the round-the-clock guard. Okay, you know what? I know that your dad is putting you through a hard time. I'm trying to get him to ease up on you, but it's, it's just going to take a little time. I don't have... What? What is it? Nothing. Baby, whatever it is, you can, you can say anything to me. You know that because I love you so much. I love you too. So come on. You can talk to me. Tell me what's going on. I mean, whatever you have to say will stay right here between you and me, okay? I promise. Wait a second, you... You really mean that? I could talk to you about anything and you swear that you'll never tell Dad. <laughs>